All new tonight for you here in this five o'clock hour. Uh, thousands of fishermen from all across the U.S. Of course, they annually make their way to Northwest Ohio for the annual walleye run. But a new study suggests that those fishermen and fisher women, they might want to think twice before frying up any of that freshwater fish. Our Michael Sandlin is live at the Maumee River with more on this. So, Michael, let's dive into this study. What did you find out? Well, Jeff, according to the DC based environmental working group, they say based on evidence from the FDA and the EPA, freshwater fish across the United States are now polluted with alarming levels of a forever chemical called PFAS, saying even eating a single fish is equivalent to drinking a month's worth of contaminated water. PFAS is an industrial chemical found in many consumer products, and EWG estimates thousands of companies have been dumping the chemical in our rivers, streams, and lakes across the country for decades. Of the 500 sample fish tested, fish from urban areas and the Great Lakes had the highest concentrations of PFAS, with even the median amount found in the fish determined to be 280 times greater than fish commercially caught and sold. While data on PFAS is limited, according to the California Water Board's research, studies indicate PFAS exposure can lead to cancer, immune system issues, liver and thyroid problems, and harm to a developing fetus or infant. I took this information to a fisherman here at the Maumee River earlier today, and some found the data quite alarming. Man, that's something, that's really something. That is really something. I'm glad to know that because I don't eat fish, and then I don't give fish away too. I used to catch a lot of fish, and I just give them away. But now that I know it's got contamination, I'm not going to give no fish to them. And I don't want to scare nobody to catch a fish. And they be talking about, I don't want to eat that. that has got contamination in it, you know. I reached out to the Lucas County Health Department on the issue. They say they weren't prepared to talk about it today, but only because of a lack of information. Saying once they learn more and do a little more digging, they'll reach out to the public with more guidance on the issue. Reporting in Maumee, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.